and we are rolling. Hey guys, it's your buddy Jake Dominguez back with another movie review. Today I'm going to do a really quick review of the brand new Fast and Furious movie, The Fate of the Furious. So, right off the bat, uh, let's get this out of the way. And I don't care who knows it, I am a fan of the Fast and Furious movies. I like them. I think they're fun movies, and I love, genuinely love the characters. And they're entertaining. And you know what's weird about the Fast and the Furious movies? There's now eight of them. That is insane. And when you really look at those movies of what they are, and how they got to eight films, it is insane. I mean, the first one, which is a fun movie, is pretty much a point-break ripoff of our cars. And racing, that's what it is. It's nothing extraordinary. <laughs> and then we got a really inferior sequel, directed by John Singleton. Not one of his best works, uh, Too Fast, Too Furious. Not a big fan of that one. And then we went to Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. None of the main cast came back. Well, you know, if you've seen the movie, you know that's not entirely true. But in terms of the leads, none of them came back. And they, it's just, and it was considered just to go straight to video, which is crazy to think about. But from that, the director, Justin Lin, got everyone back to do the fourth movie, Fast and Furious. Then they really went on to reboot the franchise with Fast Five. And it was just done incredibly well. All the characters were there. It was a heist movie. And it was great. I genuinely really love and enjoy Fast Five and Fast and Furious 6 and Furious 7. Most confusing names ever, by the way. Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious one of the worst titles of all time, and then it went to Tokyo Drift and Fast and Furious, no, the, Fast Five, Fast and Furious 6, and now the Fate of the Furious. Yeah, it's confusing. Don't think about it too much. That's good advice for the Fast and Furious movies in general. <laughs> Here's the thing with the Fast and the Furious films. I'm not even getting to this movie yet. They're just made for entertainment, and I'm fine with that. I love movies. I love filmmaking. I believe that filmmaking can change the world, and it has changed the world. I'm fascinated by looking at film and really looking into it, into deciding how, or not deciding per se, but figuring out why the director chose that shot, and why he chose to follow that shot with this shot, and how that can incite different emotions from the viewer. I love learning about that, and how to do that in films, and really observing and analyzing films. I love movies that make you think that are different, and I really truly believe in the power of filmmaking. It is the great and powerful Oz. In fact, one of my favorite filmmakers of, of all time is Terrence Malick, and one of my favorite movies, if not my favorite movie, is The Tree of Life. Have you seen this movie? Completely the opposite of a Fast and Furious movie, let's put it that way. This movie is different, if you've seen it. I love it, but it is different. And as much as I love movies like this, and supporting films like this, some movies just aren't meant to be analyzed. Some films aren't there to change the world, per se. It's, they're just there to, ha to be fun, to be entertaining. And that's what the Fast and Furious movies are. They're great popcorn, blockbuster, fun films. And I'm sorry, I enjoy that. Going to a Fast and the Furious movie and complaining that it's too stupid and too silly is like going to a rock concert and complaining that it's too loud. Sometimes, stupidity is the given. <laughs> and in this case, they know that they're being silly and stupid. They're just putting stuff on top of that. And really, the Fast and Furious movies have great themes about family, and they have always have a diverse cast, which I think is awesome, and I love that message, and I want to support that. Now, at the same time, maybe you go to a rock concert, and you just really do not like that loud guitar, and you just do not like rock music in general, so you just have a miserable time at the rock concert. That's fair game. And if you do not like those mov these movies, I understand, and certainly some are better than others. And certainly the fact that they've gotten into eight movies and they've each gotten better for the most part is something to be cheered on about. And so I really do enjoy this these movies, so I was excited to go see The Fate of the Furious. What's the plot of this movie? Does the plot of a Fast and the Furious movie matter? No, not really, but here's the basic plot. So the basic synopsis of this movie is that Dominic Toretto, the main character of all the films, the main hero, Vin Diesel, has gone bad. 
For reasons unknown, he has turned on the whole gang in order to help this evil lady, played by Shalise Theron, I think I'm saying that right, named Cypher, to basically, you know, take over the world and a bunch of stuff like that. It's a Fast and the Furious movie. The plot isn't the focus here, obviously. But that's the basic synopsis. Tons of action sequences follow. And I was really excited to see that movie for that one reason. Dominic turning on the rest of the characters was a good idea. That, in general, hooked me in. I never would have thought about that. And I was excited to see what they would do with that. Like, the guy who was always talking about family and all that. You know, like, you know, you know, you can never turn your back on family. Even when they do. Blah, blah, blah. That is a terrible Min Diesel impression. Just forget you saw that. That was awful. I acted too much. Anyway. And it was... That's Min Diesel for you. And I thought that was a good idea. And it works pretty well here. And overall, I had a lot of fun with The Fate of the Furious. It is a silly, but extraordinarily fun and entertaining movie. All the characters that we love are back. And the action sequences are extremely well done. I forgot to mention that F. Gary Gray, a very talented director, just coming off a of Straight Outta Compton, directed this film, and he does it really well. As an action director, I'm not as crazy about the way he shoots action as compared to what Justin Lin did. Like, I thought he nailed that pretty well. But the action sequences in this movie are cartoony and spectacular, and I had a great time watching it. And I think people who go to see The Fate of the Furious just wanting a fun popcorn movie are going to get it. It does it well. But I did have a few issues with the film, and I'm not talking about it's stupid and ridiculous. Again, that's the given. I mean the movie itself. Now, all the characters are back, and I love seeing them together. And I liked, again, I like the idea of Dominic turning against them. That's really good. I was excited to see what they would do with that. And they do it pretty darn well. It was interesting, and it had a new dynamic to the film. Cypher is a very mysterious character who's trying to turn Dominic on his code and stuff like that. And it worked really cool, and I thought it was pretty awesome. But I wanted just a little bit more. Now, in terms of the main drama of this movie, of that situation in particular, we get it from Michelle Rodriguez's character, Letty. And she's always awesome. She's really fantastic. And she does a great job in this movie, and it, it's sad to see them both, to see her heartbroken over Dominic, you know, becoming evil and that sort of thing. But other than that, in terms of the rest of the characters, I didn't really get this sense of struggle for them. Like, I was really excited to see, like, Tyrese Gibson's character, Ludacris's character, like, get really torn apart by this. Oh my gosh, Dominic Toretto, who talks about family every five minutes in these movies, has turned against us. That's terrible. And I didn't really get that as much as I wanted to. I mean, it's there. But I wanted to get more in terms of their heads and show them... I wanted to see them kind of struggle with that a bit more. And especially from Hobbs, played by The Rock, and that sort of thing. And it's there, but with the exception of Letty and her character, I didn't really get that as much. And I was a little disappointed by that. I thought that was a lost opportunity. Now, you're probably saying I'm silly for complaining about a lack of character development and emotion in a Fast and the Furious movie. That's totally fair, and you're right. I shouldn't expect more, should I? But to be fair, look at the last few films. There is a lot of heart in these movies. I'm not saying I need any soliloquies from these characters about the really dramatic stuff going on here. But... Show me character and, and a motivation through the action. The last few films did that extremely well, and I was hoping they would do that a bit more here. It's there, and it's it's really powerful seeing Dominic Toretto struggle with this, but I wanted a bit more. Also, the pacing of the film sometimes goes a bit here and there, especially during the second act. There are times where you're just like, <laughs> okay, this is entertaining, it's not boring, but... Can we please get to the cars? Can we get to the action sequences? Please, this is a little too talky. Okay, thank you. And what, but to be fair, when those action sequences come, man, are they ridiculous. You've all seen them in the trailer. I mean, they fight a submarine. What's not to love? It's a submarine. Cars driving by themselves. It's awesome. <laughs> but in terms of the my favorite part of this movie, much to my surprise... My favorite thing about this movie was Jason Statham coming back and the camaraderie between him and Dwayne The Rock Johnson's character, Hobbs. So Deckard and Hobbs, 
their chemistry together is fantastic in this movie. I won't spoil the plot I talk about it in general, but they have great chemistry in the film. And I loved it. Whenever they were on screen, it was it just warped. It was like peanut butter and chocolate. You put them together and it was magic. I loved it. They did such a great job in this movie. They really elevate it whenever they're on screen. They did such a good job. I would watch a whole spinoff movie about them. Like, completely serious. Like, they did such a fun, great job. And they have most of the energy and humor in the movie comes from them. I loved that. And Jason Statham. There's something that happens in the third act involving his character. Oh, it was so stupid and I loved it. That's all I'm going to say. I won't go into spoilers, but you just got to see it. You're either going to hate it because of how silly it is, or you're going to love it for the same reason. I loved it. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. I loved it. But um, in terms of other positive in the movie, Tyrese Gibson's hilarious in the film. He's as funny as ever, as is ludicrous. The, the returning characters are great. It's great to see them. It's Scott Eastwood plays a brand new character, and he does a really good job. Always love seeing Kurt Russell, who's awesome. And it's an extremely fun movie. The Rock does a great job as well, by the way. Never forget to mention The Rock. I, I, I can't do that. He, I always got to give him his credit. Now, in terms of one more thing about this movie that I will say, as stupid and ridiculous as it is, there are some darker elements to this Fast and Furious movie where they do get very dramatic, very dark, even. And I'm not sure what the general consensus of other fans will be to this movie, in terms of that, because there are some times in this movie where the tone totally shifts, maybe a little too much, and things get very dark and serious. I was really surprised by that when watching the film, but I thought it worked. I liked it, and I didn't even, I haven't really mentioned Vin Diesel yet, and I kind of was making fun of him earlier, but you know what? I love the character of Dominic Toretto in the other movies, and this is probably the best performance He's given in a movie, period. He does a great job. And in those dark, dramatic scenes, he I really bought it. He really did sell it. And he did a great job. In terms of what other fans will think of those scenes, I'm not really sure. But I liked it. For me, it worked. Like I said, it's totally a little off. But I thought it made this movie a little different. So that's what I have to say about Fate and the Furious. There's really not a terrible amount to dissect in this movie. But that's not the point. The point is to sit down and have a fun time at the theater, and that's what this movie did. And that's what all the really best of the Fast and the Furious movies did. That's what they do. They're just fun, entertaining movies. I had a great fun time. I was laughing hysterically the whole time. I was enjoying the ridiculous action scenes. I love these characters. And overall, I had a fun time. I'm interested to see what they do with the next few films. They want to make at least two more, at least, so that we'll see what that we'll see what that happens there. But overall, I had a good time. And really, isn't that what you want from a Fast and the Furious movie? That's what I want, and I can't complain there. So I'm going to give The Fate of the Furious a B. A solid B. If you go into this film looking for some entertainment, go see it. It's worth seeing. I had a really good time. If you do not like these movies, if you do not like the Fast and the Furious movies, they're too ridiculous or whatever, don't go see this movie. Just don't. Don't waste your time. You're going to hate this one too. But I had a lot of fun with it. So guys, thank you so much for watching this review. Sorry I'm a little bit more low energy than I usually am. I'm like recording this in the middle of the night and I have like... Uh, it's been really crazy for me the last few days, but I have been working on a few more reviews that I'm going to upload very soon. I have an awesome series that I'm going to be starting that I'm really excited about. I am super excited about this channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing and for watching my videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it. And don't forget to comment down below. In fact, I'm going to ask you a question. What do you guys think of the Fast and the Furious movies? Are you looking forward to see this one? Are you looking forward to even more? Should they have stopped a long time ago? Are they too ridiculous? Or, if you're like me, do you love them? Are you a fan, and why do you love them? That is my question for you. Don't forget to comment down below. And above all, never, ever forget, I am your friend. I am always going to be there for you. Never forget that. Thank you for being mine. You guys are the best, and I'll see you next time.